Hi Sagittarius, how are you guys? Thank you so much for joining me and welcome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do your love reading for June 2020. It can be for anybody, singles, couples here, whatever resonates. Take what resonates, of course, and leave the rest. There will be an extended version in the description box. And also, if you are interested in a personal reading, please see the description box below. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys. First, we will start with the Romance Angel deck. Pick five cards of what do you need to know for June. What does Sagittarius need to know regarding their love life? Overall energy here for June. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more, please. We have engagement and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. All right, so let's see. The reconciliation again. Echo dependency. Hmm. Let's see, Sag. We have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. We have the honeymoon and engagement there. So what's happening here? Enjoy the bliss of time together. Calling in your soulmate. <laughs> Releasing your ex. Now, it's very interesting here because we did have reconciliation and then we have released your ex and someone from the past. So we will see what's going on here. And then it says worth waiting for. Wow. Very mixed messages. So let's see what's going on. Do they want to release the ex that they have? Because again, this says this could be the one worth waiting for. So I feel like some of you may be between uh, a couple of people here or there, them, the, the person here that you're connecting. Let's see though. Let's see what our tarot cards has to say. We will do a Celtic Rose spread here. Sagittarius, June 2020. What is going on with Sagittarius for June in love? One more. Oh, a card flip here. The Eight of Pentacles. Now, I saw the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So someone is trying to work really hard here to come forward. The Seven of Wands, though, a lot of defensive energy, a lot of obstacles. And the Six of Pentacles, we're talking here about a give and take situation balance. Moon in Taurus. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Overall, this is what you're questioning here, Sagittarius. We have two of swords. You're not sure. And that's why we have this complicated energy here. When I see the two of swords, I see stalemate here. I see like someone is at crossroads. They have not made a decision. They're just waiting for more information. You or whoever you're dealing with. Oh my goodness. So the five of swords is what can help or hinder this. Now the five of swords is all about getting what I want and not caring here how I receive this. But it may be because of resentment, because of blame here. And that's why with the Two of Swords, someone is uncertain of how to approach. It's never easy. The Five of Swords is very conflicted energy. You know that someone may get hurt here. You know that you, in order to win, it can be an ego, uh, a battle of the egos here as well. But we're talking about swords. So we're talking about words. We're talking about thinking, communication. So you're conflicted here because, again, as you want this, whatever it is that you're seeking here, Remember, this could be the one and calling in your soulmate. It, it's conflicted here. You don't know how to go about it. We have the star. Why is this all happening? Because of that reconciliation, because of that hope. Aquarius energy, both of these here, by the way. So the hope is there. The optimism is there. Uh, you feel something here. It's meant you just don't know how to go about it. Or again, it may be because you have gotten hurt with the Five of Swords and that's why you feel conflicted. What are their motives? What do they want? In the past, there was this dreamy type of energy. The Ten of Cups tells me that emotional content, that emotional bliss. This may be how you felt towards them or they're towards you. 
So again, look at these beautiful energies here. We have the star and the ten of cups. There was a, you know, a moment here that you thought they're the one. They make me happy. The sun, wow, we have we have the star. Why this is happening subconsciously at the root of all of this because of the hope. And with the sun here, it's consciously what you see. Now, it's very, again, it can be ego-driven here because the sun is uh, rules the fifth house and it's a Leo energy. But we're also talking here about you being optimistic, going out a uh, type of, you know, open, very open energy. This is me. This is what I want. I'm, I'm open to anything here, even when I'm at crossroads or conflicted. It's, it's like looking in a positive way type of energy. I, so another five. So someone is coming here full of loss and regrets towards you. This is your immediate situation here. Five of Cups, Mars, uh, Mars in uh, Scorpio. We will clarify why. But this is what he's saying. Someone is regretful. It's like this person like is crying here with what happened. You have the Ten of Pentacles, though, in your attitude. So this is consciously, you're looking at going in a better direction, positive, being open. And Ten of Pentacles, you are all about commitment, prosperity. So I feel like in this situation, this may not be you. Or again, you may say here goodbye to someone and you feel the regret. You are conflicted after all. Wow, look at these energies. You have such, by the way, beautiful cards as well. We have the Star, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, the Ten of Cups. So what's going on here? That's why I keep I keep looking this back and forth energy. The Wheel of Fortune is what surrounds you here, guys. So again, it can be a person. It can be here, uh, your environment. But it's very much with the will, uh, worth waiting for with the Wheel of Fortune. Things to change your fate, to interfere. Uh, again, waiting for that moment of things to kind of coming here. Kind of luck. It's Jupiter energy, by the way. Expansion. So waiting for opportunities, for better things to move on. This is what someone is waiting here. So if this is not you, it's them. Because that's what the Wheel of Fortune tells me in your environment. You have the Two of Cups, Sagittarius. So again, this is in your hopes and fears. You know that you connect with this person on a soul level. You, you can see yourself in them. There's a type of mutual energy here, a beautiful union. So why the regret? Why the conflict? Why the two of swords? Why the indecision? The best possible outcome is the magician. Wow, the magician and calling in your soulmate because we have here your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring you together. And who is better at manifesting than the magician? A lot of ma major arcanas again. So the best possible outcome is you find yourself here unsure, at crossroads, you or whoever you're questioning here is saying that manifest that, open to it. Again, you have the power, you have the awareness of what you can make happen. Is Mercury energy? Mercury is in Gemini right now, which is uh, you know your partner sign, by the way. So let's clarify a little bit here what's going on. Some of you may be dealing with the Gemini, of course, with that magician uh, energy. So. Gemini or Virgo, but overall we're talking about Mercury. So you have all the tools here to make this happen. If this is the person that you're connecting and they're at crossroads, they are manifesting you. Okay, so I need three cards here for the Five of Cups. What is going on with the Five of Cups? One more. Empress. Oh my goodness. Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So to me, it's like someone coming and saying, I'm sorry here. This is what I want. The Empress is love. Venus energy is in retrograde in Gemini as well. And you're going to have a full moon, by the way, in your sign June 5th. So with the full moon, whatever you started here, with the new moon in Gemini, it's kind of a completion energy. But look how beautiful this is. We have the Empress, we have the Two of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, which this is what you have in your attitude here. 
this is how you're going to see yourself and it's about commitment here it's reaching that point that okay i did it i work hard i'm willing here you know to commit or build whatever i i started but tells me the empress is venus in cancer venus energy and ten of pentacles whoever is coming towards you they want this they feel like this is the right moment this is the right time when it comes to commitment coming together and acknowledging here the, the love the unconditional love it's all about being open and let that guide you remember you have this in your hopes and fears so this emotional loss it has to do here with someone that feels this is what i want this is what i'm seeking now do they feel like they lost this because you are choosing someone else remember you do have a release your ex energy here this may be again you guys warning be careful be careful that you don't regret here when it comes to this connection choose the right one do not always take uh, here any tarot reading just as a prediction take it as an energy here of with the current one what might happen and with this possibility it's all about possibilities here guys i unless when i see the major arcana here i feel like it's very important but again it's saying what is coming towards you someone here that feels this emotional loss because again they are in love with the empress and they feel this is a soulmate connection and of ten of pentacles it is marriage money prosperity so this is what is coming immediately to you but the best possible outcome we have the magician so let's see here be aware i feel like of the force you have be aware here of your thoughts of what can, you can do with your thoughts what you can manifest Look, the five of cups fell i need two more cards regarding the magician I feel like victory was coming there one more the four of swords and the page of swords wow okay so to me whatever whoever has been watching here are curious look at the five of cups again which is coming towards you He's saying be aware you have all the possibilities all the tools to make things happen get out of this situation feeling sorry or sad or again regretful with the four of swords there is the separation or release here with the four of swords someone may have been taking time off here or again taking time when it comes to to know here to gather information the page of swords is all about collecting information listening to gossip or again that exchange here of the mind a lot of swords as well so get out of that mentality in a way that's the best possible outcome for you to be able to see clearly where you stand i want to see what is because this is the bridge so as you find yourself here at, at crossroads or unsure there's someone here that kind of brings you conflict it can be you or another person here give me three cards for the five of swords Wow, the, the world. There's unfinished business here. One more. Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Temperance. Wow. Okay, so with the Four of Pentacles, this person does not want to share. They're holding very possessively. It's like they're holding, even with the Seven of Wands, I'm getting with all of this, Temperance can be Sagittarius. The someone is holding back. They want this very ba badly with the Five of Swords, but they're holding back. They feel like, again, is it a blockage here? Is someone that is fighting here? Temperance, I feel like it's patience, like going back and forth, understanding, healing. But that's what that conflict you're going to find. Who's willing here to take a risk or overcome obstacles here? Again, there's a process with the Temperance. It's a process of healing. It's a process of understanding oppositions and how you come in together here. Let's see what is the sun. One more. The three of pentacles, the king of wands, and the eight of cups. So to me, is someone here that is coming very much with the king of wands, very bold. It can be your energy. It's a fire sign. But this person is willing to make amends or compromise or make type of situation work right now. They are very optimistic that things can happen. Uh, people can work things out. 
putting effort. The Eight of Cups, though, tells me again, this is a person that has been disappointed, uh, kind of emotionally withdrawn here. But with the King of Wands, they're coming back. That's why you have that type of confusing energy here again. You're looking at it in an optimistic way. You know that things are, are about to work. You have, you have to put a lot of, with Three of Pentacles, a lot of alliances, partnership or work situation. And the King of Wands can be very stubborn. I don't see this person, the King of Wands, wanting here uh, to work with other people. It's very much my way type of energy. This is a leader uh, type of energy. With the Eight of Cups, again, what needs to be left behind that has not been working type of energy. So with the sun, I feel like you are looking at it in an optimistic way. The sun can be very egocentric as well here, just to let you know. That's why he's saying be careful what's coming. Who's going to regret? Who's going to leave behind certain things in order here again to go after their happiness? With the magician, he's saying that open your mind, be aware of your surrounding, and you will be able to overcome this regret this loss or whatever you have been bombarding yourself here with the page of swords, all this gossip, 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 all this gossip, all this type of back and forth information. The page of swords is still immature here in, in their energy. And I feel like someone has not been talking or been very open here. And that's why is the regret there. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope this does resonate with you guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.